This is Renee Romeo and today's Pearl of Wisdom is how to turn this little scrub brush into a power tool. Now I know you've seen these little tools on TV where they have you operating a little brush uh, with a wand and the wand requires D batteries. Now D batteries, if all of you know, you'll be lucky if this lasts one job. When you have you know multiple uses for this thing, you're going to want this to last a little longer. So you need a longer lasting battery and I come up with a solution. So basically what you're going to need, you're going to need a clamp, a hacksaw, and then you're going to need a cordless drill. And my cordless drill comes with a couple of little battery packs. This thing will last throughout any job you have. So I've got a couple of replacements for it and it's just perfect. So if you don't own a clamp like this, run out and buy one. They're so useful around the house. They kind of give you an extra hand anytime you need it for different projects. So the way that it works, you're just going to squeeze it and then you can release it with this lever here and pull it back out again. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it nice and tight on the table by squeezing it and keeping the handle out of my way. That's going to work really well. Then I'll grab the hacksaw and I'm just going to follow the contour here and just hack this little scrub brush part off. Now it's going to take some elbow grease, but you'll get there. Okay, now it's not that pretty looking on the back side, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get a machine screw. Now this machine screw is about one and three quarter inches long, and I'm going to outfit my cordless drill with a drill bit. And the way that I do this, I make sure that it's just slightly larger than the machine screw, and I put it up to one another and look at it, and it's slightly larger. So this is the bit, drill bit that I'm going to use. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go right into the very middle of that back side and make a nice hole. There we go. Perfect. So there's a hole drilled right in the center of this. So you can see that it drilled out that center hole and it drilled out the very center little tuft of brush. So what, that, what I could do now is I could take this machine screw, now I have a lock washer attached to this side, and I'm going to slip it right in the front, like so, and pull it to the back side. Now I have another lock washer that I'll put onto that, and then I have a nut. And I'm just going to go ahead and thread that nut all the way down to the lock washer on this side. I'm going to take a pair of pliers to one side, hold it nice and tight, and then take a screwdriver on the other side and just twist it until I get it super tight. Now that the scrub brush is all assembled, we're going to go ahead and take it and insert it into the front of the drill. So as you're doing this, you're going to want to keep about an inch distance from the front of the drill to the actual scrub brush head, and it will give you a little bit more leverage as you're cleaning. Go ahead and tighten that down really well. And then what this will wind up doing, because you've inserted it into an actual drill, you, with the press of a button, you could just go ahead and press it. It'll go right or it'll go left. And the other great thing is my drill has a little light on it so I can be able to get into little tiny corners and see where dirt is laying and I can just go ahead and grab it. It'd be easy to see and this is way better than anything that I've seen in the stores or on TV and I think you'll agree too. So let's get cleaning. So I'm in the shower and let's just go ahead and spray some regular bathroom cleaner in here. Ordinarily you'd need a scrub brush to do this or a sponge. So here we go. We're just going to go ahead and turn this on. And look at the cleaning ability of this little inexpensive tool. You could go on for hours with this thing or days if you needed to. You can switch it in the other direction. And it will be squeaky clean. Cleaner than it's ever been. Wow, that just, it feels so unbelievably clean. 
So there's a great cleaning hack for all of $3. I hope you do this for yourself and take cleaning to the next level. Until next time, this is Renee Romeo, and I'll bring you another great pearl of wisdom.